of Monday, June 7th, 2010. I'm Molly and this is Rocket Boom. Well, BP oil is all over the place. This computer simulation created by the National Center for Atmospheric Research shows the likelihood that the oil will make its way up the eastern seaboard quickly. And this shows what looks like a sign BP may be having a difficult time selling gas at their pumps. BP is also the largest supplier of oil to the United States military. As you can imagine, that complicates things. Just saying. Darth Vader may have had borderline personality disorder, say French psychologists and psychiatrists. A group of researchers led by Eric Bouy at Toulouse University Hospital are about to publish findings that show Anakin Skywalker suffered from six out of the nine borderline personality disorder criteria, as defined by the DSM-4, leading him to become Darth Vader. Him being Anakin, not Eric. Private space tourism company SpaceX successfully launched their new Falcon 9 rocket into orbit on Friday evening, lending credibility to a new wave of commercial space taxis and a boom in the private space industry. The new rocket was last seen over the skies of Australia before making its way out of the atmosphere. UFO reported in the skies of Australia A strange blue spiralling light was spotted over New South Wales, Australia just before sunrise on Saturday morning, resembling what many experts suggest looks just like the SpaceX Falcon 9. Perhaps not as exciting as any experiments by Tesla, but at least as entertaining, EP Bird is back with a Coca Mentos powered vehicle. As one can see from the footage, a hundred soda bottles and a few packs of mints can propel a human being filled jalopy 221 feet in a single burst. Coffee powered car? Also likely not the answer. The build team from BBC One science programme Bang Goes the Theory converted this 1988 Volkswagen Scirocco to indeed run on coffee. With a fuel efficiency rating of about 56 espressos per mile, the car is also between 25 to 50 times more expensive than one that runs on gas. If you can't toast them, roast them. A nervous Mark Zuckerberg, the young billionaire CEO of Facebook with privacy rights issues, literally perspired profusely through grilling questions at the D8 conference, before being asked to take off his ever-present hoodie, revealing a corporate insignia printed inside. The so-called Facebook Illuminati sweatshirt is now on sale on eBay, with 15% of the final sale going to benefit the Electronic Frontier Foundation. So it would seem that Mark Zuckerberg is literally giving the shirt off his back to help protect digital civil liberties. Or at least 15% of it anyway. When it comes to a day like today, this is all ye need know. Forevermore, only this and nothing more.